When is the YouTube video coming out? Tomorrow, actually. Uh, I need to get the thumbnail for it done, but the first episode is edited and uploaded. I just gotta thumbnail it and we'll be good to go. But yeah, kicking off the YouTube series, at least trying to get the first episode out on there tomorrow, and then... Uh, ideally the next episode's over, uh, the next week. Now, there's a couple of things that I want to do today. Um... I want to take a note from Chosen, and I think I want to get some villagers set up, which I know is... But I don't want to do a raid farm right now, and I don't really want to be behind for another day. So I think I'm going to get some villagers set up to trade iron. Because at the moment, I have 5,900 iron that's sitting in my inventory doing fucking nothing. And these dudes buy iron for emeralds. And it's only four iron for an emerald. So I can imagine that I could probably only need to cure these guys once. And that should probably set me for a while. And then if, like, supply and demand ever gets crazy, I could probably just cure them again and it wouldn't be that big of an issue. So a few things... All right, a few things I want to get done today. A few things I want to do today. First of all, first of all, where is my... Uh, let me do a little bit of... Wow, that was absolutely not a spoiler or anything at all because I'm not going to mention it in, like, 10 seconds. Knowledge... Bang, bang, please and thank you. May I have some extraordinary benetite? Can I have some perfect benetite, please? Thank you very much. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. Go to there. You go to there. And then you go to... Uh, you... How many do I have? 32! That's not bad. And then you go there. Thank you very much. I'm so great at compensating. Uh, give me these bad boys. Yeah, we got waystones now. Cool. So to my knowledge, waystones do not generate in the overworld in the way that they did in season two and just in general. Unless I'm wrong and with the new nether reset back to vanilla, they are going to appear on top of the nether roofs. But I think that they shouldn't be generating. They, I know they don't generate in the overworld. But it's just a question of do they generate on top of the nether roofs or not. I don't think they do or they shouldn't. The reason I ask that is that waystones aren't out of our realm of being able to craft, but they're not the least expensive. So they need warp dust, which is just Valdusus and Laramar. I actually like that there's no die here, thank god. Um, you need any block. A warp stone, which is four Vault Essence and Extraordinary Laramar. Thankfully, we have a ton of Laramar, so that's not an issue at all. And then Chromatic Steel Ingots. They're fairly easy to make, realistically, because the Laramar that we have at the moment, which is the modded gem, basically, Lamar, uh, we have 350 Laramar gems and 21 Laramar ore. So, like, we're we're good on that. And Extraordinary is only 16. Like, that's, that's not uh, out of this realm whatsoever. So, yeah. Let's craft some waystones. Um, rather not shift click right now. Can I butterfly click on this? Yeah, that works, I guess. All right, thank you. What are we saving the skill points for? Yet to really decide, but I think maybe haste too. I'm not exactly sure yet. I'm still kind of thinking about thinking. And then we need the... I think that should be everything, right? Everything except the warp stones. I haven't made the warp stones yet. Go. Oh, you don't craft, do you? Or you don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, do you function in the same way that, uh... Oh my god, you do! I forgot how much I love warp stones. I forgot how much I love warp stones. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love them. Hopefully they work the same. We'll see, though. One, two... Goodbye, chromatic steel. Am I out? I've been spending chromatic steel, haven't I? Uh-oh. How do you make chromatic steel? Chromatic iron and carbon. Is carbon only used for chromatic steel? Yes. Okay. Was thinking for a second that I might have been shot out of luck, but I'm like, that shouldn't be something I'm struggling to make. And I don't believe it is. So...
That'll do. That'll do for a bit. Action. Action is coming. Action is coming. Oh, you stack. Beautiful. Okay, cool. So we can sprinkle these around a bunch of people's bases. Including ours. If I put you here... Where do you teleport me to? Nice. Cool down on that one is five minutes. Understandable. Maybe I will have them already, I think. Yeah, I know a couple people already have them. This will be not only for, like, other people's bases, but also my own. So, yeah. That's really nice that we got wireless teleportation now. That's very cool. As, you know, new nether updates happen, uh, it's time for me to go back to speedrun, Randy. I'm gonna go fly around and try and loot some bastions. <laughs>
Show yourselves who did it. Treasure concrete. Omega. That was pretty mega. Wow. Hell of a lot going on there, that's for sure. Oh, hello there. Pick iron, you're low. And I'm grabbing a little bit, but it's hard to convince myself to actually do it. I mean, if you're just going to extinguish from up here because I'm within range, like, I'm content with that. No problem with me. It is actually insane how much damage a single husk deals. I kind of think it should be illegal, but you know what? Like, I can't really do, say much. Oh, ah! What are you just standing there for? You know, way up? Yeah, you do. Get up here. You don't want egg? I had some egg this morning. This afternoon. I stop lying about being awake in the morning, man. It's not doing myself any favors or any good. Oh, you went for a little trip there, did you? junk going on here the magnet is fun but it's also without proper storage kind of a nuisance i think it's just the amount of items that i'm picking up in general though and not necessarily just the magnet oh my 
I didn't mean to drop. I'm fucking dead. I'm fucking dead. I'm fucking dead. I'm fucking dead. I'm not 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 dead. Everything's fine. Just calm down. Let me do my thing. Well, I didn't mean to slip down there. Head ass looking ass. Calm down. Hunters isn't your favorite. Don't worry, we won't tell Sin your Swede. Senior Swede. Don't tell, uh, Vault Hunters is definitely my favorite. Thumbs up. Five star review. Frick you, man. Um, I don't know. Ragnamod was, like, pretty fun, but also, as much as I enjoy the company with Xena Jordan, Ragnamod was just a lot of, like, inventory simulator. I feel like outside of that, I didn't really get much of an opportunity to see what else the pack offered. So I don't know how highly I'd put Ragnamod itself on the list. But I don't know what other major mod packs I've played, like, fully through outside of Ball Hunters. That weren't just, like, for content's sake. Above Ball Hunters? When did I say that? Why is this thing not pocket? Right, I'm all over Vault Hunters. I don't know what that is. Well, if it's better than Vault Hunters, then clearly you need to get familiar with it, Iskel. I never mess around with all the mods, any of those iterations of it. Hello. Where are you running, Sue? Where is he going? So, Scott, Ragnamod is a series that I was playing, uh, well, we're about to finish, me, Zena, and Jordan. And, uh, it's interesting because it's like a, uh, I don't know how much you'd like it. Because it's like a quest book style mod pack where you basically have to start out with using this one mod. And then once you get to a point in that mod, it allows you to use the next one. You kind of go down the line until you eventually can utilize creative mode items basically at endgame. It's a weird... Simplification of the way that I'm putting it, but it makes sense when you actually look at it. It's not bad by any means It just is a lot of like crafting, but you do learn a lot about like every single mod If you were to play it yourself I miss out on a lot because uh, you know, we had a split between us three So sometimes we would be tackling different mods between the both the three of us but Yeah, it was kind of cool. I learned a little bit more about um, Immersive engineering through that <laughs> After Vault Hunter Season 2 had it, and this one no longer does. Hey, Craft Pack. Played a lot of those. Yeah, you'd get it then. That was, like, the first one that I've done, really, where it had, like, the quest book, and it's like, here's the thing you do today, and here's the thing you'll do tomorrow, and the thing you do the next day, and the next day. It's cool. But again, it is a lot of, like, craft this, do that. That's basically what you have to do. I really had a fun time with... Was it Mad Pack 3 that I played with Vic? I think it was Mad Pack 3. I liked Mad Pack 3. We didn't go full in-depth on it, but the time that I did spend there was entertaining. 
I enjoyed it. It's also just nice to hang with Vic and do a series with him again. Not to say, like, at that time I wasn't really recording with him, because I was, but, yeah. It was fun. Oh, I hate the way the spawner's set up. I'm not gonna be able to get in there before it procs again. Stay away from me and leave me alone. I'm going to the living. Oh, hey, buddy, why you... The fuck? What's going on here? Jesus. I'm getting shooked out. Oh, no. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. You don't like getting meleeed there, do you, buddy? What the? Calm down! Back off of me! Back off of me! God damn it, I hate you so much. I don't think I get this in time, but I'm gonna try. God damn it. Hell yeah. Very, very cool. Mob egg is very pog. Very stoked about grabbing that. Did I get this over here? I don't think I did. Definitely did not. Those health pots are plenty. That they are. Identical room that I was just in, or the one before it, I think so. Should have gone into my inventory. I think it did. What the fuck is this? I don't know where the spawner to that thing is. I'm getting the hell out of there. First poison in a bit. Experience. Uh, yeah, sure. Mystery bulks. Pretty good. Not finding any dungeons. I just don't think I'm looking in the right areas. This guy, you gotta teach me how to find dungeons more reliably. I'm trying to like clear out rooms a little bit more full than I normally do. Love seeing that.
Yeah, where did those husks come from down here? I have no idea. Hmm. Nothing here. Oh, it came from right up there. I didn't see that little spot. <laughs> I threw it out of last stand. What the hell? Hey oh. Hi. Oh my. That's an interesting looking POI right there. Have you ever responded to a Hey Peter with Peter? I hardly know, uh, seems like a missed opportunity if not. You know, I usually just run up the response of just repeating back, Hey Peter! And that's kinda... That's kinda the way it goes. area. Damn, sick looking POI right here. Neat. Not a dungeon, but a nice little tucked away POI. Very cool, very cool. Alright, let's, uh, let's get back home, yeah? Vault compass. Take me back. Take me out of here. Why do they have the golden carrots? I just out of habit of not picking them up for some reason. I don't know why. It's good with me. Oh, we got some stuff out of that vault. I'm a figment of my own imagination, and I don't know if I'm real or not. Hey, I'd like some, uh, can I get some vault gear and some crafting? So give me some gilded chests and such, you know, like, I'll, I'll, I'll give me some loot. Let me get some loot. Oh my god, I entered a vault. <laughs> Six ob. Don't think we're killing any bosses today. And we got a little desert guy. All right, so it's a west-facing vault. Just good to know for my general direction. Good to know for the general direction of things. How do you just like walk through arrows? That's my question that I have for you. If you could finish the paper and put it on my desk by tomorrow morning. That'd be great. Gotta stop jumping in the mobs. I think that is a reason why I take a lot of damage compared to other hunters, is the way that I go for crits sometimes, I'm a little bit lazy with my jumps. And I'll just like, bash my head into uh... Oh yeah, no, the compass works great! Ooh, speaking of... The compass works fantastic. Very, very good. I'm gonna be honest, I'm surprised why it was made so cheap. Two for the price of one? 
say less. Do I even have enough? Wait a minute. Oh my god, I do. Holy fuck, I didn't think- Oh my god, I was about- Ah, oh, oh, oh my god, I was about to be- ex Oh my lord. Oh man, my feels. What would have happened there? I don't want to talk about it. I don't even want to think about it. It's not my reality. Life is good. Life is fine. Everything is a-okay. Let's do a little bit of that moving around. Yeah, thank you. Okay, cool. Give me my buns. Give me that schmeat. Yes, man. Yes, dude. It's so huge. Pretty good, you know? Pretty good, pretty good. Where was this room when Iskow and I were versing each other in knowledge essence? Oh my lord. Getting out of there. I didn't know that the uh, poison when it imp when it hits the uh, silverfish spawns more silverfish. That is a very unique mechanic that I wasn't aware of until right now. Huh. Alright, you know what? 24 living chests? And none of them were mob trapped either, so that's a clean escape. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Not a single complaint here. Wendar, not today. Not ever, to be honest with you. Windar is just a little not worth it right now, is all. I miss mine rooms. I'll find one for you soon. Don't worry. We've been in a drought. I agree with you. Have not seen one this season. It's literally been months. I'll do the breast that I can. What the? So what's up there? It's so good. Wait. I see. Is my proc on me? Oh, we're good. It's a living kind of day. I'm just feeling alive. Eyes, watch check. 
POI spot check? Hello. <laughs> Found the POI. What exactly is uh, the move here? Oh, it's an entire entrance on that way. I just kind of went, uh, I did the up move. Right, can we fix that? Thank you. Don't knock me off. going on here oh my well that's scary as shit um I see the spawner find out where they're coming from first yeah yeah this is a uh oh this stuff just got a little bit of everything in it doesn't it that's cool. It's got a regular chest, got a mine room. Why do am I not using a silk touch? Why did I bring my fortune pick? Why do I have this? It's a dungeon of all trades. That's kind of cool. I want to know what's up there. Hey. I would be taking those, thank you. Haven't found many of those today so far. Um, I see you over there. More livings. Sorry, I get a feeling for what this vault is, you know? Hey, I put my pearls away somewhere. Where my pearls go? There they are. know about that one exactly but whatever you want hey whatever you identify as i'm gonna be the last one to tell you that you're wrong you know you live your life Don't think that should have worked the way that it did, but here we are. Somebody needs to hit on Brandon by calling him a POI. Pete of interest. So is that somebody not getting the person who just shot me a fiver to bring that up?
Oh, come on. No way it didn't detonate there. Man. Uh, it's literally a spawner right up top there. Let's see. My girlfriend would disapprove. I need somebody to be my fall guy. The one K. <laughs> My brain's not too slick with uh, returns on that joke at the moment. I do apologize, but I appreciate the donuts. Well, that's Mars probably proccing again, huh? Oh my god. Hey, back up for me. Woo, baby. This probably gets me again. Oh, I missed the swing. I see you back there. God damn it. Go on. Give me a spawn. Thank you. at another dang candle and think that's a coin sack, I'm gonna lose my mind. Is there a reason you're not using fear more often? You mean ever? <laughs> uh, it's not really in my mental to use it. But I think that if I was in a life or death situation, like literally about to die, I'd probably give it a play. Hello. Do we have time for you? What do you need? Wanna what the fuck? <laughs> What a needy guy. Jesus. Peter, you have vaults. So you've got a point of interest I'd like to plunder. You mean survive? Plunder got, uh, written off the table. Appreciate the hundo bits, though. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> I need to do some speed running before I start tackling these rooms this way. Is it pink epic? Yep. That's why those, uh, that color combo is so epic. You know what I think the difficult thing about block jumping like this is? Is that all the blocks are very smooth in color, so it's hard to tell, like, where I'm gonna land exactly. I think that might just be like the main problem that I'm having. I also already have so much shit. <laughs> I have no room for anything, man. That's uh, a yellow. Ow, man. Ring yours and your shulk? Yeah, I don't have an omega and I have two epics. I have no means of being able to complete this room as it currently is. That just might be the call next. Uh, you're not exactly wrong, is the thing. That's pink. Still need an Omega in general. And I still need two more, three more pinks, actually. I have no idea how many I need. Holy fuck, I have zero room. 
I literally have no room to be collecting anything right now. I just, I do not have space. I have all the stuff in my inventory that I normally would not be grabbing, but just going into my inventory because of the magnet and such. Watching these jumps fascinates me. I feel like I could take that as an insult or a compliment, depending on how I'm feeling. <laughs> Oh, it's a vault diamond. Hello. Thank you for that. What about the knowledge essence? Can I have one of those too, please? Thank you much. block. Hmm. <laughs> what else is here? Okay, nothing that I need. Fuck, man, I'm so bad! Oh, God, dude. Oh, just leave me alone. I hate my stupid Where the where what is my inventory right now, dude? I'm building with a shulker box. Do you ever play a game so much that you start trying to hit a keybind for it in different games? I have been grinding new world and auto walk everywhere, so I just hit my auto walk key constantly in Minecraft, even though it doesn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how it'd be. There's a pink. Surely there's an Omega on the floor or the ceiling. Oh, brother. Nice. There's no dump spot. Uh, kind of ridiculous that there's no place to relieve yourself in this room. Like, you'd figure that, you know, they'd have that for you. With it being a public access and all. Kind of messed up, man. Kind of messed up. Did it disable a pickering in this room yet? They kind of just disabled the pickering from everything. <laughs> Not exactly, just um. Oh my god! Just get it off of my. I hate him. I gotta go, dude. I have to leave. I have to. I leave. I have to leave the vault. I must depart from the vault in a moment. D there is surely the last one. You're going very good for that room, actually. I just haven't had the opportunity to use it. Oh my god, man! I blew two of those rooms. Not a single Omega in either of them. I am being insulted right now. Stumbling farm? I'm on it. Yeah, I would be down to uh, try the Pickering in there, to be honest with you. This Pickering takes a pog. So it's a little bit difficult to craft at the moment. You know, that the Stoneling, so it's not only difficult in resources, but also difficult, like, actually difficult. Um, 
And also, you know, the fear of death in a vault and then losing the Pickering with having invested a pog into it. I'm just saying, I've died with the three Pickerings I've had on me, and they've all been pretty quickly after I've made the Pickerings. I don't know what it is about that item. I think it gives me a false sense of confidence when I shouldn't have it. Do I have all my Shulkers? Have I at least... Oh my god, okay. I thought I didn't have the purple one. <laughs> okay, alright. Are we good? Can I exit my inventory? Alright, get me out of this vault. <laughs> Hey, Iskel, um, yeah, so the good news is I'm surviving. The bad news is I think I might be owed two vaults worth of experience. We roll. Maybe a scav? What exactly is going on there? What exactly is going on here? What is happening in this vault? Oh, God, I'm not letting you in. You scared the Christ out of me, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be in this room, considering the... Okay. <laughs> Hi, man. You know, if I want if, if I want to come back for a few guildeds, I'll come back for this room. Otherwise, I think I'm just going to play off the ornates. I'll, co I'll, I'll maybe come back to that room. Time is a flat circle. What the fuck, man? <laughs> no, like, listen. This is my life now. Ornate and wealthy, and I'm sitting here. I mean, to be fair, it's trapped, and at least I get to open some chests here without the fear of... Time didn't appreciate being called flat. Oh my god. You're actually right. That was so rude of me. I'm sorry, Time. You got a thick dumpy. Man, just because I- just because I'm a little flat doesn't mean that I can go around saying those kinds of things to other people. You're right. You are so right. I was wondering how precise an ender pearl throw could be. I've learned. Oh lord, my inventory. Please sing its graces. Amen. You know, if the luck's a double-edged sword... <laughs> I thought the, uh, the blue nuggets there was a, uh... I thought that was a question mark over vault gear. It's fine, it's fine. Guys, it's okay. We're just getting... We're just stocking up for the next puzzle room that offers... <laughs> A uh, slightly more reasonable request for the middle. When that puzzle room hits, oh, guys, it's going to be the greatest thing you've ever seen. But they don't, they don't just give those out like candy, okay? This 
these puzzle rooms are going to be the reason that I go into pouches sooner than I would have liked to. <laughs> I foresee an 8 Omega puzzle in your future this season. Now I just need two more! <laughs> ah! You gotta be really specific with that one. Who needs building blocks and running them all anyway? Wait! Wait! It hung on! It nearly fell, but the little guy hung on! I missed the jetpack with this room. Me too. Yeah, me too. Look at all those greens down there. Not a single pink. Oh my lord, my days. Oh my days. Alright, I came from that way. Alright. Vault resume. <laughs> oh man. There it is. There you go. Alright, we should move then. Uh, what was this vault again? Trapped? Right, yeah, yeah. Trapped and wealthy. I missed some gold piles from the, uh, from the puzzle room. It's okay. It ain't that big of a deal. Oh my god. You were not kidding when you said wealthy. Oh my lord. Hold on, we got some friends to take care of really quickly here. Nobody goes hungry tonight. Hello, Spooters. I'm gonna tell you something, I did not miss you one bit. Oh, hello. Rare. Actually rare. Corporeal network storage system win. I've never looked into Botania's storage. For anyone that has, is it good? I thought I remember hearing like that it wasn't amazing or it was only for like particular like specific niche tasks. But I've never looked into it or tried it out before. Botania's storage. It's not strictly storage. It's like different somehow. That was nice. Oh, 
Fuck you! Abe! Can't tell what's a Keck W or a Pepe said. He died at the XP farm that might be a slight Keck W, but probably not. Alright, headed east. Just a cheeky little mental note. Just a little mental note. A velocity upgrade on my magnet honestly would not be the least desirable thing. He died as so. well. He died a builder. Or just a person living in their house. <gasps> that's that's pretty cool. Echo. The first non-cosmetic ulcer. <laughs> Do not die, do not die, do not die. But like, what if I did though? The vault is trapped. You know what I mean? Oh my god, that is exciting. Damn, no POI there. How many other people have gotten Echo and where did they, like, where have they gotten it from? Because, yeah, that's the not seeing Echo or that's the first Echo I've found. First Echo I've found. It's kind of a, it's kind of a big deal for me. Oh, yeah, wait, I was going this way. Fuck. Downside of not blocking things off. I gotta at least put, like, one block. I gotta put, like, one block down, like, the direction that I was going to. Just so I know that that's where I've been. Can I eat my food, please? Let's go. I got three from a mystery box. That's possible. Oh my god. Damn. It's a pretty big deal. Mine rooms as well, too. Understandable. Very understandable. Hello, Ob. I don't think I'll be fighting the boss with an echo on my body. You know what I mean? One in 20, 48 chance to get an Omega Pog 2. Okay, unsolicited advice simulator. Didn't need to know that, but all right, spoil that for me then, I guess. That's cool. Sixteen moths. Whoop whoop. P Z H A. Yeah, dictionary. Thank you for the sixteen. Appreciate that. Thank you. Being a little silly with the way I'm looting this, just looking for coins and ornates on the surface. Take your time. Take your time. There you go. Thank you. Oh, hello. Wait. Sorry for the lag. Keeps me on my toes. No worries.
Are the legs that I have? Seven hour, ten mana, soulbound. Okay. I've got some pretty solid legs as is right now. Hello, ornate structure. Hello, non ornate structure. Back off of me! Am I doing this right? Mod check bits before sub. <laughs> Some something like that, yeah. I think you've got the the formula down. What are you? Oh yeah! Wait, did I just break that? Did I just break that ornate in like one tap? What just happened? Oh, no, I didn't. I swear it looked like I broke the ornate chest. That was funky. Is that all we got here? Ouch. Apparently not yet. Ambush spawn or despawned? Well, yeah, no, I know, but I meant like I. it looked like I broke the ornate behind it. Like with the particles and everything. I got a little baited from that. I thought I was faster with my hands than I had realized. You can break ornates like Gildas from last season? Yeah, I know that. I haven't really gotten to the whole breaking chest thing until I get pouches and my magnet upgraded a little bit more than it currently is. Just because of like inventory. Jesus. That slowness. That slowness has crazy range on it. It's so cool. Hey, quit throwing the brick! Getting a little bit hungry. I think I'm gonna chuck a pizza in the oven. Just a bit. Anything down there? Any coin piles? Any POIs that I'd be interested in looting right now? I don't think so. Not too guilty about ignoring... What are you? Oh, not what I intended to come up here and see. But, that is the way that these vaults are laid out. Worth exploring everything so you can catch these POIs. Frick. Oop. You be looting this vault like it's 116? Yeah, kind of. Coin piles and ornate chests, plus it's trapped. I'm just kind of looking around for those things a little bit. Is there a black chromatic pickaxe? There is. Holding that echo in my inventory like it was my child right then. We got anything special up here? Nothing that I want to find out about. Got 
I need to hop back home in a bit here. All right. Different floors for levels? Wasn't that a... Oh my god. Okay, I'm getting this and I'm going. Uh, this, that's too juicy of a coin pile for me to pass up. A seven roper? Oh my god. I think that was season one, right? I never got to play in the uh, multi-level vaults. Never did get to experience that. I think it would have been kind of cool. You fought any bosses lately? I attempted to. Oh my god, man. I attempted to yesterday. Didn't end up well for me, though. Alright, I'm gonna get back on my, uh, the lane that I need to be on. Nobody did them, I don't think. 3D vaults were too tricky. People have the option of not doing them? Did you die? No. Scurried my ass away and got out of there safely somehow. But yeah, shit was, uh, kind of rough. No, clicking obelisk doesn't give experience. What are we dealing with here? Jesus. Oh, I'm on the back of the vault. Back of the portal, I see. I'm so sad. You gotta be kidding me, man! I'm not upset anymore. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, just take. Okay. You know what, man? You know what? <sighs> You know what, dude? <laughs> I'm not upset anymore. Immediately gets upset again. What a wrong way to start. I no, I went the wrong direction, man. <laughs> oh, I'm out. I think I'm about to get three vaults of experience, or I'm only gonna get one, I'm not sure. Not a lot of experience in the way that we looted that one, wealthy and trapped. <laughs> I could have spent a little bit of time in that, in that, uh, castle, but I didn't want to get stuck, and I wasn't gonna be able to discipline myself to only go for, like, a minute. <laughs> That's so unfortunate, man. <laughs> uh... All right, how many chests? Two Omega Ornate, one Epic, seven Rare, 16 Common, six Trapped. 41 Open, eight Trapped? About in line with it, yeah. 140 Coin Piles. Last Vault, the one before this. Level 20, baby. And then 4,100 experience from the first Vault that we ran today. Plus eight. This is the vault that we basically went into and just looted every, like, all the ups and downs of every single room. And it turned out pretty good, you know? Okay. You know I gotta do it. I missed you. You purple looking egg. While we're waiting, it's a lot of people on the raffle. Sorry, I haven't done one until right now. Four hour uptime? Should have done one a bit ago.
Rosie FCG, see you in the gladiator arena. Scrappy legs will be better than Scrappy. Is the question that I have today. The answer to that is a whopping no. And those are definitely not seeing the light of day. As backups? I'll hold on to them for just a little bit. What about the axe, though? Uh, interesting? Okay. Attack speed is 3,100 durability. <laughs> Wait, that's tier three? Is that based on my level or is that, their, was that their solution to, we need access to have higher, dur or weapons that have higher durability. Does everybody just get inflated tiers now? Cause I know tiers are based on level, but I didn't know whether or not it was like, that was their way of, um, being like, oh, we need to get more durability. Let's just do it this. They work all the patches only to add base durability. Interesting. That's crazy durability then. God damn. Uh, the attack damage compared to what we have is... Yeah, this one's nearly maxed. These aren't as much. Let's do a little bit of work with this guy, though. Uh, a little reforge on these. No, thank you. I'm looking for, like, chaining and increased damage. Like, plus 5, plus 6 damage and chaining or cleave would be insane. Holy. Healing plus and soulbound? Stun attack chance. Um, holy is good. Don't get me wrong. Not what I'm looking for, though. Still looking for chaining or cleave and some damage. Baneful. Built in fatal strike. I'll open up a can on you, Interesting. Buddy. I was gonna run one vault and then get back to base work, but then I didn't get any experience, so I'm like, oh, I have to run a second vault to get my XP. So I ran a second vault and I didn't get any experience. And Iskel said that I hadn't updated my jar file, or I, I should check if I didn't, and I hadn't updated my jar file. So then I ran a third vault to get my experience, and here we are now. 14 vault bronze, one plating. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep working on it. One cleave range. Damage? Interesting. Hmm. Is it much better than what we have, though, to be honest? It's 20% holy. What would that be? Extra 2.5, so 15 attack damage, basically, on those mobs. With the cleave. burning through some bronze right now and I don't care. Hmm. So that... It's on the lower end of the tier 1, but that is double damage. Yeah, basically about 18 damage. <laughs> I'm burning through my crafting potential, but it, I don't know. I'm addicted. I'm, I'm addicted. I'm addicted. Oh, stop! Oh, God, stop! <laughs> 18.5 damage. 80% baneful. <laughs> God damn it! I burned so much money on this damn thing. Baneful is against spiders. So this thing would be a spider killer. Baneful more like painful. I know. Ah! Ah! Bleed the potential down! Son of a bitch! <laughs> I love this mod pack, and I'm not saying that sarcastically. I love it. This game gets me to do something like that. <laughs> I do not have a problem. I do not have a problem. No problem to be found here. I'm just having fun. We should go to Vegas sometime? Abe, I've never gambled at a casino before. I would not be against breaking that streak, though. Gameplay time. You know what I forgot to... Um, you know what I forgot to reset up that I literally told myself before today that I needed to? Were my boots. 
That being said, Snow Vault! I have to catch up a bunch, but good luck in the vault. Snow Vault Pog! So we got a little bit of uh, natural threat occurring here with uh, these boys. <laughs> oh, drowns. Interesting. I love the visuals, though. So we need rip page. We need a lot of everything in this vault, huh? What the? Hey, guys. Wait. Wait a minute. I see a thing in your hand. They spawn with tridents now? I mean, I say now like I've seen these guys in a vault before. They spawn with tridents? That's insane. That was literally an objective here. That's crazy. I'm not gonna have the experience to do this. We got a living chest over here, though. Oh. There's fucking polar bears? Well, you got a green bar above you. That means you're peaceful, right? Is that black mob essence from you? What the? Oh, I'm s oh, I'm freezing. I'm sinking. How did I not? Oh, I forgot to bring my freaking boots, dude. I'm so upset with myself. I told myself, be prepared. Come prepared in the case that you do get it. Here I am, man. Not having him, dude. What's my fault? What happened? Oh, yeah. No, that was my fault. Yeah. Yeah, it was entirely my fault. Double of those? Ridiculous. Whoa. Whoa, 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 now. Oh, not a shell. It's the run. I'm gonna fucking die? Oh my god, those mobs! Look at all those bad boys! The dr the tritons? The baby? The stray? God damn, this falls dangerous. Holy shit. This is where the crossbow not doing a ton of damage really makes a difference. Cause you gotta be willing to get in there and get some melee hits to eliminate those boys. God damn, man. Who is behind me? What the fuck? This is insanity! Oh my god, the accuracy that you have! You're throwing it much further than the other guy would've. How am I supposed to even get close to you? You like those straight shots though, bud? Jesus. Oh my god, hello? Yeah, die from damage. Good. Good, I'm gone. Thank you. No more livings? We got those. Okay, so we got the... We still need one more rip page. Where are Black Mobbisons from in this vault? Because the stray, I think when I killed it, dropped purple essence. Unless I saw that wrong, which I really don't think that I did. Um, I've found... <laughs> I think I've found what will drop black mob essence. Not gonna... Is that a puzzle room behind me? Is that a puzzle room behind me right there?
Should I have my band full? Oh! Hello, mama! Oh, there's no Omegas. Okay, man. Like, realistically, whose fault is this? You know what I mean? Man, I'm gonna tell you something, okay? With spider AI and the way their hitbox works, and the fact that I'm fucking sorry, you added what? <laughs> uh, I, uh... I'm sorry. The spiders get smaller. That was incredible. I actually, I, I enjoyed that. <laughs> Man, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> uh, hey, what was in this room that I wanted to loot before I ran out very fast? Why is that an above average size spider? Bro, there's above average size spiders in the mix of the, the what? This vault's incredible, man. Are you kidding me? I love it here. I love everything about this. Oh my god. I thought you knew? No, what? I've killed them before and they haven't... ...been born? Oh my god. Time to lose inventory space. Might be the first time that I've activated fear, uh, and I did it by disabling hitboxes. Twenty-five mana for half a heart. Very good investment. Do the puzzle. I don't think I will. Is puzzle completable? It is actually completable. But I figure while I'm here, I might as well invest. I get some loot, and I can maybe make it good for other rooms. You know what I mean? The snow vault's scary. I will spend as much time here enjoying the peace as I possibly can. This is my happy space. Also, the snow in here looks awesome. Ouch. Why are your hearts blue? Because I'm cold. <laughs> Burr. <laughs> Oh. oh my god. You know, the first time that I came into one of these rooms... Someone in chat told me, like, be careful, you can't MLG on the floor. And 
n I was able to do it just then. And now I'm thinking, was that comment just like a dig at my skill? <laughs> I think, I think it might have been. <laughs> it was broken when I tried to on the first day. Oh, actually? Wait, how was it broken? Did it just not allow you to place blocks on the floor or something? That's such a silly bug. Water can be placed on the bottom bottom for some reason. Huh. It placed like one block higher. Interesting. Play tester Abe over here. I also love how I don't need anything from Gildeds. <laughs> Although I was just talking about, you know, wanting Gildeds for the sake of, um... I would like the stuff that's uh, floating around me, though, if that would be possible. Um, could we do a little, um... A bit of that, please, thank you. I do need the gilded's for dust and such. That's always a nice thing. <laughs> oh, thank you. What a baby rage if I died by it. Save all mega pieces for another vault to be safe? What you mean? I don't need any Omega pieces. This is, actually, this is actually an incredibly good, uh... For the first time, it's actually a really good one. I only need yellow, blue, and one pink. So this one's kind of a freebie. Don't say the word freebie in the vault out loud. No, it's not better loot for, uh, harder puzzle pieces. Just RNG. The chest, the generator, all the same. Thank you. <laughs> Five, two, and one. Okay. I never done this before. So you guys ready? Are y'all ready, man? Turn that damn volume up, baby. I've missed that noise, man. Oh, I've missed that noise so much. I don't think it ever came back in season two when it was removed for whatever happened. Must have been like a just complication they had with it playing whenever the room would activate. Hi. Beautiful. <laughs> that hot pink is just... Oh. I 
I'm leaving the vault. <laughs> I'm out. You hear me on that? I'm out. I'm gone. This type of vault drowns sand, snow, everything. I'm taking my loot. I'm out. I'm gone. I'm having a good day. I'm having the rest of my good day with my dig site ruined. And I'm, I'm peacing out of the scene. Thank you very much. Send me away, baby. Whoa, I'm gone. Thank you for that. Okay. How much is that for the Elite Spider? 1800. Itsy Bitsy Spiders. <laughs> so, okay. I, um... So there's some farms I want to get done. So I was thinking about getting the, uh... Gold farm done, which I still might do. The slime farm was an option, as well as, like, the raid farm and stuff, and also just generally getting crop farms done, and... Also, like, sheep and pig farms done. But I was thinking about... I was thinking about Kajirium, right? I think... I know I've heard Abe and Ryan were going to be going Kajirium. And I think that Iskal had also mentioned at some point that he was thinking about going in as well, too. And it looks like a really nice thing, because it could simplify a lot of stuff. And we do have spawn eggs. So, the way that this works... The way this mod works, basically, there's not a lot of items. Um, in fact, there's primarily only two. There's the mob cage and the mob terrarium. The mob terrarium is the entry cage for passive mobs. So if you have a passive mob egg, like a sheep, for example, thrown in the terrarium, congratulations, you have a sheep farm now, basically. Chuck a chest underneath it, and you're good. That's your sheep farm, pretty much sorted. And then the cage, the same way. This one's for hostile mobs. If you got a spider, zombie piglin, guardian, whatever, chuck it in the mob cage, throw a chest underneath it, congrats, you have your farm for that. Now, is it the fastest thing? No, not exactly. You know, like a proper like slime farm, for example, would probably net you more slime significantly faster, but you can always double up on the cages or triple up or quadruple up or quintuple up or however many upple ups you want to do. But, yeah, so you need spawn eggs for them. The mob terrarium costs glass, packed vault meat blocks, and binding wood plates. The binding wood plates are chromatic steel ingots and driftwood, relatively easy to make. And then the packed vault meat block is just nine vault meat blocks, and that's just nine vault meat, so 81 vault meat, essentially. We have... how much meat? We got 250. So, admittedly, we don't have a lot of vault meat for making the uh, terrariums right now we would only be able to make two or no we'd actually be able to make three we would be able to make three which is pretty solid and then the mob cages themselves cost chromatic steel ingots iron bars and ominous skulls the ominous skulls are where it gets a little expensive this is black chromatic steel so eight black opal per ominous skull 16 extraordinary laramar four chromatic iron ingots and then a wutotic mass which is a perfect wounded eye and fall essence we have a lot of Vault Essence. Wu did I? We have 47. So that's okay. But yeah, I don't know. Like, we have the, uh... We have 10 of... But anyway. I thought about opening these. Because you right-click the egg, and it'll give you a random passive mob egg. Or, you combine it with an Eternal Soul, and it'll give you a random hostile mob egg. And depending on what that is... That could be a farm, pretty much for us. And those are the only way to get it. The cool thing is, though, is you can actually craft these back in the mystery eggs using an Alexandrite gem if you get four of the same egg, whether it be hostile or uh, passive mobs. So if we did roll a bunch of the same, we could actually just re-roll them over again, which is actually really cool. I like this as a feature. Um, there's no way to do that for the mystery because it'll just turn back into the... Or the hostile mystery, it'll just turn back into this, and then we'll choose the Eternal Souls, but... I figured I would at least, because I can make three mob terrariums, and I could make, if I wanted to use the Black Opal for it, I could make one of the uh, mob cages. 
Um, do I still have the black chromatic? I do still have one black chromatic sealing it. So if I wanted to make one mob terrarium, or not terrarium, one mob cage right now, I'd only have to use four black opal, which is kind of cool. Yeah, let's, uh, let's at least see what we get, and that can kind of shape our judgment before I decide to go straight into this mod. We can do three hostile mystery eggs, and then we'll just do... I'm nervous to use these, because if I do use them, then I can't turn them into hostile eggs. I've already converted these. Let's see what we get. Give me something good, baby. What? Suspicious stew? Spider spawn egg? Okay, so that doesn't really serve a purpose for us, admittedly. Also, doesn't serve a purpose for us, admittedly. Enderman spawn egg. Interesting. Okay. So kind of already stuff that we've taken care of. We already have... We've already got... I mean... There are spiders that spawn in that farm. Have I not been getting spider eyes? Spider eyes are player kill drops only? Interesting. I didn't know that. That's fascinating. Okay. How long has that been a thing? Please don't tell me since the beginning of time, you fucking idiot. <laughs> um... Didn't know that. So I guess that would be a useful thing for this, because I do wonder, in that case, if we chuck this up to a spawner, that that would give us spider eyes, I would imagine? I would imagine that it would give me that mob drop, because it's a modded thing. I don't see why that would obey the mob killing only. It, it probably does. Which can drop spider eyes, right? Possibly. What are all the spawn eggs in the game? I'm just gonna go through this. I'm gonna go through every mob for a moment here. I'm gonna open up two mystery eggs, because we could make the terrarium. These give nothing since so they drop nothing. Chicken spawn egg. And a rabbit spawn. Interesting. So that would be rabbit hide then. That's for a seed pouch, bond of rabbit high, slingshot, leather, and a bundle. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. I feel like that'd be one of the more tedious farms to have. Maybe not actually, though, but that's... That is interesting. Okay. Is Iron Golem possible spawn egg? Well, actually, yes, because the... Uh, Cagerium... Kajirium does give Iron Golem spawn egg, Wither spawn egg, and Ender Dragon spawn egg. And I want to say, because it does say there's three tiers of cages. From everything that I could tell, I think that would have to be the binding plates. Because the binding plate is something that you place down on the ground, and you can attach an Iron Golem, Wither, and Ender Dragon spawn egg to a binding plate to make it that. But I don't know what an Ender Dragon would drop exactly, because you don't get anything from Ender Dragon drop. I would imagine the Iron Golem would drop iron. But it would make sense because it does say it's a tier 3, and none of the other things on here are other cages. And this is a black chromatic steel block, so that's... what would that be? 72 black opal in total, and then the binding gemstone is... 4 Rutonic Mass, 64 Laramar, and an Echo Punk. <laughs> Little bit of a pricey guy. When I tested it, it dropped nothing. He spawned Ender Dragon with the egg, so the griefing potential is almost as bad as the Colossal Chest before the 5 limit. I I have no idea. You can't craft these. I have no idea what the deal is, or what would happen if you tried right-clicking the Ender Dragon spawn egg on the ground, or just went to right-click it on the binding plate and missed. <laughs> you imagine just binding plates here, and you accidentally click here, and it's... Whole base just gone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open one more of these, because we'd be able to make three. Pig spawn egg. Pretty simple, pretty starter pack stuff. How about one more hostile? Well, that's a thing that happened in front of me. There's your cold farm. 
how I wonder how good this would be in a single block. Cause this actually could be pretty nice. I don't know. What are the drops of a zombie of a uh does a zombie piglin ever drop a full gold ingot? Yeah, it does. 2.5% chance, so relatively uncommon. Rotten flesh and then gold nuggets. So it would need to be converted. How many piglins and 10 charges? Well, that would just mean that you'd be able to... Um, the charges is for eye spawner. So eye spawner, basically, you put an egg into the spawner and it'll spawn a wave of, I think it's 64 mobs and that's considered one charge so it'd basically be 640 mobs and then it's depleted um but kajirium is a static thing we put the egg in and that's just set indefinitely for whatever not fast enough for the amount that you would need i think the thing that i'm wondering though is like isn't the nice thing about having the zomb zombified piglin spawn egg with Kajirium and everything, the fact that it would be running constantly, whereas in another gold farm, I would have to AFK at the gold farm, or, like, spend time there manually killing the piglins, like, in the nether. Because I don't think there's... My pizza's ready, so I gotta go. But I don't think there's any overworld AFKable, like, just able to be ran while I'm at my base, because AFKing isn't something that we're good with here. I mean, I guess there are chunk loaders... There are chunk loaders. Another gold farm gives stupid amounts real quick. Might be worth having both. Well, I think because there's another mod that I wanted to look up, right? Where was, um... It was this one over here. Weirding Gadgets. This mod allows you to chunk load a chunk, allowing your farms to run when you are not nearby or even offline. Weirding Gadgets will, however, turn itself off when you have been offline for longer than 12 hours. Heck, that'd be you, me. If you are playing on a server, use the mod with caution as it can very quickly lag the server out for your server members if overused. So, it's this thing here. Chunk loader. You notice that when you place this device, that things continue to run, even when you can't see them. It also seems that if you wear it on your head, you can sense the presence of other nearby gadgets. Very weird. And this is made with compressed blocks of gold, four of them, Laramar, Ender Watcher, and Chromatic Steel. And the Ender Watcher is compressed redstone, obsidian, eye of Ender, and two vault diamonds. Let me at least get this over with. The mystery eggs... Would it just be better to use these on normal instead of hostile mobs? Because what other hostile mobs do we need a farm for? Wither skeleton... I mean, it's just for... What is it? The wither skeleton just drops wither skeleton skulls and then bones and swords and stuff. What other, like, mobs... Would be crazy good for a farm. I guess witches, possibly? Witches, maybe? Guardian witch would be the only other ones. Witches you get from raids. So that would have that covered there. Is there any other mod that could do... Like, passive mobs farming? As cleanly as Kajirium would right now with the Terrariums. Because eye spawners is expensive, so that probably isn't going to ha be happening for a while. But, like, I feel like Kajirium and passive mob spawners go pretty, like, solid together, you know? So that's why I'm thinking that at least for the mystery eggs that we have right here, it's probably not worth it to turn them into hostels and just run up passive mobs. So I think I'm going to do that. Cow spawn egg. What would that drop? Seagrass? Just only? Seagrass? Just kind of ass, then. I don't think you would drop a skewt. Because skewts aren't from... Killing them. Skewts are just when they... When the shells crack. A second pig. Okay. I don't think I'm ready to do Kajirium quite yet. I don't think I'm ready to do Kajirium quite yet. That's all my knowledge, and I might honestly, like... I might honestly think about waiting until I just run up create. Surely I'll get a good vault with all my peers watching. Um... It's doable, actually. No, it's... It's doable. It's doable. 
That's a doable scav. That's a doable scav. Where are the mobs? I wonder what happens. They're, oh, I see you're down there and about to be in my face. Hello. Maybe suddenly I'm not so down with this whole thing. Hey, man. Anything else? I just saw a mob up here, freaked out a little bit. Oh my god, so it's so trapped, dude. <laughs> what do we need from Gilded? Spider Soul Charm, understandable. Do we need coin piles? We actually don't. Damn, that's unfortunate. Literally right in front of some. How are you not taking damage? Still gonna take the cash though. How could I not? Whoa, where'd you come from, boss? Back off me with that damage. You know I'm fragile. Yes! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, hey, uh, do the thing where you, like, move and get stuff. Put stuff away and everything. Phenomenal. Alright. So that's living chest taken care of. Actually, insane snipe on that epic item. Or rare item, rather. Still going. How the hell did you go that long? On a common. Trapped is brutal. Trapped is brutal, man! I shouldn't have healed that early. I lost that on a little bit of HP as a result. Good block. Your chest down there. What the? Is that the rip page is done? No, I need one more. It's extinguished. Love that. Thank you much. I think they're regret nuggets as well, too, please. Alright, regular chests are done. Which purple do I have? I have two. I have three purple essence. Oh, the painite. Oh, the painite, though. Yoink. Nothing else down here that I really care about, I don't think I see. No. Orange 
Ornate and Gilded. The two main ones right now. I mean, it's good for fighting some fighters to the purple essence should it drop for me one more oh, I need two more but one dropped did not hi how you doing What the uh that's what the mob spots around here everybody what's going on there we go Red pages are done purple mob essence is done this could be gilded if i'm lucky The earrings are such a rare item. The jar! Wait, we hit the jar? Wait, we yo? Hey, hold on a second. Wait a minute. This is actually kind of going pretty smooth. Let me take the rest of the stuff in there, though. Please and thank you. Oh! Me! Oh my god. Get me out of that shit. <laughs> Nearly died to a creeper in the water, dude. I ain't sharing a pool with that guy. We just need gilded. We just need gilded as fire soul charm and literally everything else is already done. Drop off point. Okay, drop off point directly out from spawn, and spawn is south facing. Incredible. Not seeing any gilded's here. Trapped ornate frail. Those ornates are pretty sick. It's a larger vault. What the fuck? Jesus, man. The double gorge on a single POI? Oh, I'm just gonna get back out of this room. There's a lot of mobs here that I don't want to deal with. You missed Painite? I don't think I saw any Painite. If I did, I apologize. Oh, Lexandrite it was. Yeah, my bad. I think my brain was kind of like, I want to get the player gems and then I'm out. Gold piles. No guilds. Can you craft a key yet? No. I 
see no poise. Boys! Today! That's a fat coin pile. Jesus. Fatter than my ass? Actually true. Living and opulence. Damn. A coin pile is gonna have to remain there though. I ain't going down for that. Nope, 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 nope. No thank you. You're kidding me! It came back after I had to leave it! Oh, it came back! I miss you! Oh, I'll throw the scab for you, baby. Any day of the week. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need to have a conversation. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Yeah, the trapped factor of this is gonna be a little unfortunate, but yeah, it's gonna be a bit unfortunate. What the? Where are you going, you piglin brute looking ass? Why is that AI? <laughs> If you're out of range, I must ascend. Surely I pull one Valkyr from this, right? Surely I pull one Valkyr from this structure. This guy crashed. Thank you for reporting that to me. I'm I'm on it. Oh, yeah, baby. The two time back to back. 1993, 1994, champion of the world. Doc, we can talk. Doc, you ain't supposed to, you ain't supposed to be here, bud. Doc, you ain't, Doc, you ain't supposed to be here, bud. Jeez. You climb just... What the fuck is this AI? Dude, dude, actually, what's going on with Stuff Fighters? I think this room is like a genuine challenge to them. I already have my jar. I've already got the jar. Thank you. So blue, I love it. Oh boy. I'm only like very terrified. What's out there? Can't be worse than the poison in here, though. Like, okay. I. That. That ain't right. Something about that ain't right. I need to have a word. I, I need to have a conversation. Oh, now that's real nice. That's real good. Thank you for those. Thank you very much.
I want to say that we're out, and I just got to make sure that I stay alive in the process. Hey, bud. You found your way in, I see. Sick room. I have no idea how much time that took off me, but hopefully we can find a spider soul charm because we could actually, like, still wind up completing the vault. But even if we don't, I wanted to take that, you know? Back to, uh, yeah, back to gameplay. Like, that wasn't gameplay. Jesus, man. Listen to yourself. Oh my... Ah, why would I do that? Yeah, mobs aren't gonna spawn here. It's fine. <laughs> Mobs clearly are not going to attack me at a POI with guilt with uh, ornates. Now that just I'm gonna tell you, either my axe crit a particle. Or I don't know what just happened there. Oh, killed it. Oh. Come on. Oh, God. No. 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 Fuck. It's fine. It's fine. We'll find more gilded. We will find more gilded, surely. We will find more gildeds somewhere. Oh, give me a, a a Western room challenge, a challenge room, like a Western challenge room. That room would literally accept me. I'd be good. Guild is over there. We got another chance. Earrings again? That's insane! Oh, no. Double earrings? Are you kidding me? That's crazy! I'm pretty sure that's the, uh... I think those are the Omega ones, right? They're either the rare... Or the Epic or the, uh... Omegas. I know they're rarer than the... Spire Soul Charm, I think? I don't see those that often at all. More guilds over there, though. We're finding them in these rooms. Uh, heck. Calm it down. What the shit? I'm shooting through these guys. What is going on with that? Assess, reassess, everything is good. Everything is sound, everything is totally fine. Get your heels on. Go to the guilds. Right, your spawner? Interesting. What the fuck? What the fuck? The oh, the trapped one is an insta break? That's insane. Huh. Interesting. Four minutes and I'm on the other side of the Oh 
if I got if I'm gonna get it, it's gonna have to happen soon. It's gotta happen like right now in this room. There's a drop, there's literally a drop off point right here. Oh man. It's ores. Time alter not worth livings. Damn it. Grab what you have? No point. No point. I'd have to go back to this drop off anyway. Ornates, man. I'm going to grab the ornates and leave. Why you got an arrow? Why you got a bow and arrow? Oh, you thought you'd get me, huh? You think I wouldn't check behind me? Yeah, you thought wrong. Oh my god, the shot from the skeleton prevented me from getting up there. You are kidding me. What a bastard. Oh, that was incredible by the skelly, dude. Didn't turn out to be worth it in the end. Alright, we gotta move. Oh, damn, so close. We hit so many guildeds. I got some pretty rare items from them, man. Ouch. Hey, still hitting Omega, you know what I mean? Still insane vault? Yeah, just crazy how we like wrapped up everything except for the... Yeah. Alright, call with some time to spare. Ain't no problem leaving a little early, you know what I mean? 4300 experience. Not bad. A little survivability. A little surviving on a trap. 76 open, 18 trap. That's about on that's about on par. We got four omega. 5 epic, 9 rare, 17 common, 10 trap. That's actually an insane ratio. Unfortunately, the Omegas, for the most part, either had really good gear or absolutely nothing in them, so it was an interesting trade-off. I'm just gonna go and roll these and see what we get. Run the axe up first. What you got for me? Cheeky common boy. Uh, 12% holy, 10% attack speed. I'm not really gonna be too fussed about this one. The lack of multiple prefixes means that we can only get one damage addition, and that would be in place of chaining or cleave. So, not really too fond of that boy. And what about the helm? Also got a lot of ult us. Yeah, we got a good bit, yeah. Dark reinforced plate mail helmets. Eight armor, Jesus. 7% mana regen and 5% trap disarm chance. It's a backup, nonetheless. It is definitely a backup. But nowhere near as good as the helmet that I've got on. But still a backup, though. We can still kick it with that. It's not bad. What you got for me? Right around the middle. Okay, you know what? Respectable. Um, could we do a little vault alloy crafting by chance? With a little bit of vault ingots and chromatic steel? Yes, we can. Thank you. And then what about... Vulturate with the painite that we have. Okay. And a little bit of you. 19. Solid. All right. A little bit of gear crafting maybe to end off the day. I'm not against it. We got 24 Valdo Valdo, so enough for two things. 
Do I have any just vault gold in here that I could snag over? I do. Yeah, I've got plenty of vault gold literally and this machine over here just didn't want to comp compact it. But we'll just check the two gold into here for right now. Okay. So in terms of stuff that I have, I'm probably not going to be replacing the helmet for many things at all. Uh, the chest plate, six armor, four health, nine mana regen. This honestly isn't bad by any means. Uh, six armor is decently solid. Four health is an okay tier two prefix. Like, that's not bad at all. And the mana regen is nice. You know, that gets you up there. The leggings, seven armor, ten mana, soulbound are also pretty solid. And then the seven armor, soulbound boots are... Okay, I guess. Yeah, those aren't too bad. They don't really do anything is the thing, though. They don't really give me health or anything along those lines, so... Um... And then the axe, of course. 14 damage, one cleave. Because we're going to be losing this guy pretty soon. Shield. How many options do we have for weaponry when we're done with this guy? Do we have another backup in here? We don't, right? Yeah, it's just that one. Uh, yeah, we have the common 13 attack that we just burned because we that was the one that we just got. Not very good, not very good. And you, not very good either. In terms of stuff that I need, man... I think I still just need a good axe. Because, like, the armor is looking okay, but... Because this is the last axe that I have before the durability was buffed like crazy, right? So after this, we shouldn't need to be working on many more, uh, you know, weapons. What do you think about idle? Not a bad shout, but idols at the moment are kind of... I don't know exactly all of what they do. Because I haven't gotten an idol that's had more than just, like, some kind of immunity. You know what I mean? And even then, like, what if it's a weakness or hunger or, like, weather immunity? You're kind of like, eh, it's not really usable at that point. And they'd have to reroll implicits, and it's just not really worth it. Can you repair the axe? Yeah, but it costs Painite to get the repair core going. Repair cores cost an extraordinary Painite, so it's 16 Painite to repair an axe. I would do this if it was an insane... Well, it's actually 22 Painite. Because 16 for the extraordinary, and... Six for the Volterite. So I would probably only use that if it was a crazy good item. Like, I will probably make that for my helmet if I haven't gotten a better one by then. Yeah. So, we'll probably get the proficiency up on here and just run a couple of axes down. Hopefully, if we get a good one and we get some good durability, we'll be able to hang onto it for a while and then focus on other gear. But for the time being, back to weaponry, baby. Level 20, roll novice, and we're lacking netherite ingots. Okay. a lot of rarity variation in the rolls. Common at the minimum. Tier 1 attack damage. Low attack speed. 19 baneful. 6 stun attack chance and empty suffix. It's not screaming good tidings to me. It's not screaming very good tidings to me. Yeah, that's it for that boy. Want to throw down three, see what we can get? Not sure about that one. What's the proficiency that we bumped up on? A point seven, I think? We had 4.7 before, I'm pretty sure, right? Or 4 point something? 4.3, I thought? Maybe. Regardless, I think it was a pretty good bump. Let me back up one more time. Tier 3 damage implicit? Yeah, of course. Ah! <laughs> the tier 2 implicit with a 15 roll. <laughs> Now we at least know the tier 2 damage can go up to 22. <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's real bad. That ain't great. That ain't very great. 
Okay, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Compared to what we have, though, it could literally be better if we roll, like, a high cleaver chaining. Why am I doing this on a scrappy? No, stop. Have discipline. Brother, it's a 15 damage on a 15 to 22. Have some self-respect, man. Have some respect for yourself. Thank you for the scrap. And... Yeah, probably, probably about the same with you. Oh, God. I'm hanging on to threads. So that's good. Hey, it turned out to be all right, you know? That's, that's, uh, that's the tier one for you, huh? 18.5 damage and uh, two chaining attack? Okay. You know, actually... I'm happy to go back to chaining. I will be honest, Cleave has been kind of nice though, because like there are situations where I wish that there was a bit more range on the AoE of Cleave, but sometimes when there's like three or four mobs in front of you and you just smack them all down, it's nice. But the, uh, yeah, 18.5 attack damage and two chaining, not bad. Not bad at all. I think, uh, yeah, with high damage and everything, I think I'm just willing to retire this guy, or at least hold off for right now. Pop a little on Breaking Bad Boy, and, uh, it's not bad, you know? Anyway. Last roll for the night. If you want to get your raffle in right now, it will go toward the raffle tomorrow. Or today. And then one kid. Like right, bananas? Alright. Throw out some sub arenas with the gladiator arena and we'll call it for the night. Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for uh enjoying the uh 10 hour stream arena. Prison guy. Thank you very much for the uh 100 bits. Been fun off to bed, see you Pete chat. Have a good one. Appreciate you. Tier 1 and Tier 2 values overlap at all, or are Tier 2 modifiers just always better? I believe they're always better. Well, actually, no. No, it's not true at all. The highest of Tier 1 overlaps with Tier 2 in my experience. So, like... Gee, is that true? Yeah. Wait, no. Is that true? That is true. Good skin. Nice job. Does it depend? I think it depends. Because I think tier 1 armor for like a helmet, for example, is 4 to... No, for like a... Chest plate is 4 to 5. And then I think the tier 2 is 6 to 7. But in terms of prefix for health... Wait, no. Wasn't the health before 2 or 3 in tier 1? No, I don't think they overlap, actually. No. Because... Oh, yeah, no, I'm literally looking at it right here. Yeah, tier 1 damage 10 to 14, whereas tier 2 was 15 to 22. And I think that's the case for basically everything else. So, yeah, I think the highest of tier 1 is still lower than the lowest of tier 2 by just a bit. Health 2 to 3 for tier 1, I believe. Yeah, so I don't think they overlap at all, which is good, because that would be... Actually, not all that great. That'd be kind of lame if you got a tier 2 modifier and it wound up equaling your tier 1 modifier that you had before. Wouldn't really feel like you leveled it all, so that's nice. Reroll only prefixes and suffixes and not the other? Yeah, I think that'd be a bit too OP. Yeah, essentially, getting a higher tier is just always better. And I mean, you can kind of assume that that's how it stays that way, because we have a legendary health tier 4 on our helmet, and that's 8 to 9. And so if you think about it, my chest plate gives tier 2 4 to 5, and assuming then tier 3 is 6 to 7, because tier 4 is 8 to 9. So, yeah, I want to say it's probably pretty consistent between everything. 
Dude, Tire Bunny don't give a fuck. <laughs> See that? Tire Bunny was just like, all right, I'm coming in, bitch. What do you think of the Reforged tier? I feel like it would never be good unless the modifiers can only be upgraded and not downgraded. Toby Ghost is an eye tracker that I don't have enabled right now. Sorry, I just haven't got rid of the extension. Um, I don't know. I haven't played around with it or really seen many opportunities where it would be good or bad. I'll have to wait until I play around with it a bit. Oh, yeah, 16 armor legs, 22 armor helmet. Goddamn. <laughs> wow. That is incredible. It's not got cleave, but I kind of want to go regardless. Let's do speed. Nine or 19 armor helmet. Oh my god. Don't have an offhand. 11% res, 7% block chance versus what would we need? We don't have boots, do we? 14 armor. We got a pretty damn strong weapon. Let's see if I can one shot anybody. <laughs> Is it where that I don't play Minecraft and I watch the whole stream? I mean, did you like it, or were you forced to be? <laughs> or did you just want to give me some ad revenue? Man. You kind. Plus 11 health is legendary tier 4, not going to be the max? I mean, we just saw there were tier 5 and tier 6s. I don't know how high the tiers go, but... One shot. Fuck, I shouldn't have. I wanted to get a hit in really badly. God damn it, leave me alone, man. I'm trying to crit. I'm being impatient, that's all. Hold on a second. Oh, the fatal strike! Oh my god, man, this weapon. <laughs> Holy shit! Jesus, man! <laughs> Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty beefy boy right there. That's a pretty beefy boy right there. Jimmy Crate number five. This pedestal is going to stay empty for God knows how long, dude. <laughs> hey, I'm off for the night. I appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you for uh, watching the stream.